Every generation will not be confused. There is a generation that will get this thing. Say the compressed coffee from that day. The creative dimension of the prophetic. There must be a performance because. Arrive at this version of themselves. And God Himself is proud of everyone who is seated here ready to be a graduate. But then the other part of it is a very, very significant and a serious part. Because this is where on legitimate ground you get to receive an impartation. An impartation of the grace that empowers you. A few thoughts about impartation and then we'll pray. Isaiah 9, 8, very popular scripture. The Bible says the Lord sent a word into Jacob and it lighted upon Israel. That means when God sends an anointing, when God sends a grace, when God sends a mantle, when God sends wisdom to an individual, his intent is that it will go as far as it can go. In Philippians chapter 1 and verse 7, the last sentence Paul was speaking and he said, Philippians 1, 7, 7. He says, ye all are partakers of my grace. Ye all are partakers of my grace. That means when God empowers a person, how do you know the grace that is upon a person? By the possibilities that surround that person. I have taught you that results are testaments. They are attestations of the kind and the level of grace that is at work in an individual. There are results you cannot have except under the influence of certain graces. It is impossible to have certain results except and unless some graces are at work in you. Hallelujah. In Romans 1 and verse 11, Paul again was teaching and he said, For I long to see you that I may impart upon you some spiritual gift to the end that ye may be established the mantles that come upon you and the graces that you receive are for your establishment to be grounded to be structured so that your impact will be constructive in numbers chapter 27 we'll read 18 and 20. i made a strong observation of this in zaria and i want to do same here the lord said unto moses take the joshua now observe carefully the bible says the son of none a man in whom is the spirit don't forget that this is god speaking god is attesting to the fact that this joshua moses as he is at that point the spirit is already upon him but it is still not enough he says lay your hand upon him verse 19 and set him before Eleazar the priest and before all the congregation and give him charge in their sight. But if you give him a leadership position, they will not hear him, even though he's anointed. The cure for that is verse 20. Thou shalt put some of thy honor upon him. Honor is transferable. You've heard me say, listen, you can respect yourself, but you cannot honor yourself. Honor is a grace. Honor is the spiritual quality that is responsible for influence. If honor is not upon you, it does not matter what you have to say. The nations will not hear you. It takes more than oratory. It takes more than sincerity of heart or correctness of information for the nations to hear you. This is God's, this is the Bible's recommendation. He's transferring a leadership position and he's saying, listen, laying on of hands and just imparting wisdom upon him is not enough. You must take your honor. You must take your honor. I hope you know when that honor is upon you, it is not only men who hear you because everything is alive. There are times it is not men you want to hear you. You want gates to hear you. There are times it is the Jordan you want to hear you. And he said, where is the Lord God of Elijah? And he struck Jordan. The Bible says Jordan parted Hitha and Tita. You would have stayed and wearied yourself in front of Jordan and write a book that Jordan does not part. No, every challenge is at the mercy of the grace upon the one confronting it. Challenges are not generic. 
one person can stand in front of a mountain and remain there forever and another person can come and walk through it as though it were no mountain believe me when i tell you that the spiritual investment that is upon the life of an individual is what defines your possibilities even your portion in life and destiny hallelujah deuteronomy deuteronomy 34 and verse 9 deuteronomy 34 and verse 9 and joshua the son of Nun, was full of the spirit of wisdom for Moses had laid his hands upon him and the children of Israel hearkened unto him because he also transferred his honor upon him. They did to him exactly as they did to Moses. Hallelujah. One more scripture. In Numbers chapter 11, I'll just pick because of time. We'll read 16, 17, 24 and 25. The Bible talks about Moses instructed by God to gather 70 men watch this now of the elders of Israel he said whom thou knowest to be elders of the people and officers over them and bring them unto the tabernacle of the congregation that they may stand there with you 17 then we go to 24 and I will come down and talk with thee there and I will take of the spirit which is upon thee and put upon them Huh? and they shall bear the burden of the people with thee that thou bear not thyself alone 24 and Moses went out and told the people the words of the Lord and gathered the 70 men of the elders of the people and set them round about the tabernacle now verse 25 <laughs> and the Lord came down in a cloud and spake unto him and took of the spirit that was upon him and gave it unto the 70 elders watch this and it came to pass that when the spirit rested upon them they prophesied and they did not cease one man was carrying all that spirit and yet he was not somebody who was given to talking easily a part of that spirit comes upon 70 people and the Bible says the weight of what came on them, they were prophesying and could not stop. Yet that was what one man carried and kept quiet with it. You would think Moses was the same as other people. Can I tell you, we are equal in Christ, but we are not equal in grace. Honestly, it's, I, I, I wish I were not the one who would be saying this, but it is the truth. Look at what one man was carrying. And yet he will walk quietly. You would see possibilities come from his life. And all you would see is just the physical frame of the man. And yet God said, he didn't say, I will send an anointing from heaven. He said, Moses, what you are carrying is so strong that I can give 70 others to help you. And it will still not affect you. This is not the night to begin to share my encounters a precious student you have taken over a week to fast and pray and you have prayed along the various graces that God has so graciously invested and these are the graces you are about to receive you've heard me say I am a product of many anointings it is not every grace and every mantle that came through my personal work for it is a button we have also received from others Though we are few, we're surrounded by many who have crossed that river before. And this is the song we'll be singing forever. Holy is the Lord. When it was time for Elisha's life to change, I hope you know there was no prophecy that said Elisha would be a prophet. According to the teaching and the training, listen very carefully. The prophet, the next prophet should come among some of the sons of the prophet. And yet the Bible says, this man met an ordinary farmer 
if you saw him you would predict that he will be a very great agriculturist and yet there were other people who were already in the school of ministry of the prophet but they did not have the discernment to receive and elisha said elijah told elisha he said i'm about to be taken up ask and he said a double portion of your anointing he said you have asked a hard thing however there is a law in the spirit that everyone who asks it receiveth. He said, if you can see me as I am taking up, if you can see me, and the Bible says the heavens were open and he saw the chariots of heaven come. Listen, he said, my father, my father, the chariots of Israel and the horsemen thereof. And all of a sudden that mantle came upon him and he went to the Jordan. Watch this now. As soon as he, he said, where is the Lord God of Elijah? And he struck the mantle. The Bible says Jordan parted hither and thither. We're about to enter a very sensitive period of this graduation right now. Please, I want everybody to pray those who are connecting online our precious people are about to receive something that will change their life it is such as we have that we give mantles are falling here tonight anointings are falling here tonight graces are resting here tonight Now listen carefully, we're about to pray. When the Lord Jesus Christ appeared to me, you have heard me say it. One of the many mandates he gave me was that to every city and every nation I send you to, that light that came from me to you, there must be someone in that meeting that that same light will come. Our precious students have learned, they have been built, they have prayed, they have cried. Now is the time for them to receive. Please let's have the oil very quickly. The jar, everything please. Isaac, walk with them. Father, this is ordinary oil. Oil cannot anoint. This comes from a tree. Oil only anoints when it is anointed itself. And in the name of Jesus Christ, we anoint this oil by the power of the Holy Spirit. And Lord, we pray that in the name of Jesus, let this bring impartation to your people. Father, by the privilege of the election of grace, I stand upon my office by the apostolic and the prophetic and in the name of Jesus as I have freely received I pray that the lives and the destinies of your people will be changed even by this impartation in the name of Jesus let it be a new season by the power of the Holy Spirit please begin to pray thank you Jesus